Hey guys, it's Trip Tactics Robotics, and today we'll be showing you how to make your firewall shoot more consistently to turn your shooting from this to this. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you can do on your robot to make it shoot more consistently is turning the firewall from wheels into the rubber bands. And so what this can do is whenever the pucks are going underneath it, it kind of takes some of the energy out of them, and that way it doesn't lose as much energy whenever it's shooting them. That way it shoots more consistently. And how you can make this is by using these little cog wheels here and then just putting a bunch of rubber bands around them and then you can put these little extender pieces in the middle here like that and then just an axle through it and then that's how you make your flywheel out of rubber bands so yeah so the second thing you can do is that these little pegs here instead of having your pucks hit the ground before they get shot by the flywheel having them hit these pegs because they can take out some of the energy and just like the flywheel causes it to lose less power and so you're going to shoot more consistently a good thing you can do is, is use a flywheel weight which what this kind of does is it spins on the outside here and it kind of gives it an extra more inertia so if like one of the pucks is kind of making it slow speed this can give us a little uh, an extra push it needs to keep the speed going so the thing we did was we used two motors instead of one to power our fly flywheel uh, mainly because uh, we couldn't get one motor to do the 1 by 20 ratio like this, which is a big to a small to another big to a small. Because we wanted to get it to shoot farther, so we had to get to this ratio, and we needed another motor to do that. And also having another motor, if one of these motors is kind of like losing power, whenever it loses the pucks, it has more power going through them, and that way it won't lose as much speed. So the last thing you can do is make sure your flywheel on your flywheel you're using the right rubber bands. So the rubber bands that we're using and that we found to be the most consistent shooting are the regular rubber bands, just the regular old rubber bands. And we did like a little test with them. So we had these regular rubber bands on them, the silicone rubber bands, and the EDPM rubber bands. And we found that these were the most consistent. We'll show some clips of the rubber band testing and also give you some more information on how consistent they were. So these things will definitely help you a ton. It'll turn your shooting like it'll I guarantee you a ton more points. It's just a lot better. So if this did help you, uh, we would appreciate it if you would give a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe because we've got a bunch more videos that are going to help you all with your season. So, yeah.